DJI just simply continues to amaze at everything they do. And the new DJI Osmo Mobile 3 is no exception. If you're a content creator just starting out and shooting on your phone, that's why I started. Or if you're looking for an easy and affordable way to include smooth walking shots into your next project like me, then the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 is a tool that you just gotta have. And even if you already have another gimbal, I do think it is worth upgrading to the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 because the Zhiyun Smooth 4 that I've been using for a while now is officially retired. Now, the Osmo Mobile 3 retails for $120, which is not bad at all. But I highly recommend you go for the $140 combo pack like I have here because with it, you're also going to be getting the collapsible grip slash space attachment. But more importantly, you're going to be getting that all important hard shell carrying case. Otherwise, if you plan on taking your gimbal on the go with you, then all you're going to have to keep it safe is this carrying pouch. So just be safe and get the case. You won't regret it. And besides, it's legitimately a really good case. Now, obviously, one of the biggest new features of the Osmo Mobile 3 is its collapsible design. When stored in this case, the Osmo Mobile 3 literally takes up half the amount of space my Zhiyun Smooth 4's case does. Which means it's just much easier and less of a hassle to take the Osmo Mobile 3 on the go with you. And it also means you have more room in your backpack for other equipment or props. But the collapsible design of the Osmo Mobile 3 isn't the only new thing to rave about here. An important upgrade found on the Osmo Mobile 3 from the Osmo Mobile 2 and my Zhiyun Smooth 4 is its new textured grip pad on the handle. You get a far better grip with the Mobile 3 than you do with both the Mobile 2 and Smooth 4, which both have all plastic handles. Another minor detail to take note of on the Mobile 3 is that it also now has a built-in wrist strap for added security, something that the other two gimbals don't have. And another minor detail to take note of on the Mobile 3 is that the spring-loaded mechanism that holds onto your phone is much easier to open up this time around, which just makes dropping your phone into your gimbal and balancing it just a little easier. Now, regarding battery life, the Osmo Mobile 3 has an advertised battery life of 15 hours. But all of that is dependent on how hard you have the gimbal working and if your phone is perfectly balanced. Now, I've already taken my Mobile 3 to three two to three hour shoots, and the thing is still going from the same charge. So battery life is definitely holding up. But the Mobile 3 has also been upgraded to charge via a USB-C port, which is an upgrade from the Osmo Mobile 2, which used to charge via a micro USB port. But the Mobile 3 still has that USB-A out port so that you can charge your own devices. But something you can do to help stretch out the Mobile 3's battery life is to set it to sleep mode whenever you're not using it. And you set it to sleep mode by triple pressing the mode button. Now honestly, it did take me a minute to figure out what this was, but once you're ready to shoot again, all you gotta do is just double press the trigger, and then the Osmo Mobile 3 is ready to rock and roll again. Now, for those who may be wondering, the USB-C port on the Mobile 3 is strictly used for charging the gimbal. You can't use this USB-C port to charge any other devices, like let's say, for example, my Pixel 3a. Now, personally, I don't really care because I've never really used any of my gimbals to charge my phone while out on a shoot because I always make sure my phone is fully charged before shooting. So personally, I don't see myself ever using the USB-A output on the Mobile 3, but it is still nice to have. Regarding performance, Technically, the Zhiyun Smooth 4 has way more range of motion than the Osmo Mobile 3 before your phone snags. But even though the Osmo Mobile 3 has less range of motion than the Zhiyun Smooth 4, I haven't really noticed any major drawbacks while I was out shooting with it, which at the end of the day, that's what really matters. Now, you can also see that the Osmo Mobile 3 is significantly smaller than the Zhiyun Smooth 4. It's also noticeably lighter. And it also doesn't hurt that the handle is way more ergonomic because the handle on the Zhiyun Smooth 4 is literally just a plastic rectangle. But I've also noticed that the Mobile 3 does a much better job of leveling your phone and keeping your phone leveled even if your phone is unbalanced so I don't have to go in and adjust all of my gimbal shots in post if I don't want to. 
Whereas with the Smooth 4, I have noticed that the horizon on this guy does like to drift, especially if you've been shooting after a while. Now, if you're someone that likes to shoot vertical video, or if you just want to quickly switch from vertical mode to horizontal mode, all you gotta do is just double press the mode button on the Mobile 3. And this is another huge deal, because before, if you wanted to transition between the two modes, first you would have to take your phone out of the gimbal, and then you would have to unscrew this thing, and then turn the clasp over, screw the thing back in, hold on, I don't really do this too often, throw your phone back in, and then, hopefully, everything works out right. So, yeah, this, that's a lot harder than just doing this. Now, personally, I don't really shoot too much vertical video, but being able to quickly transition from shooting in horizontal mode and then just switching your phone to vertical mode means I can just use my phone in the gimbal and not have to do this weird head tilt thing like this. So yeah, for me, I don't shoot vertical video, but just being able to do this, this is very convenient. Now, the Mobile 3 all by itself is great. It's an awesome compact gimbal that's going to keep your phone leveled and you can easily adjust it by manually tilting your phone or you can use the joystick, which is something that the Smooth 4 doesn't have and is something I've been sorely missing. Now, personally, when I shoot my B-roll, I just use my iPhone's default camera app. But if you want to get the most out of the Mobile 3, then you can use its companion app. Now, through DJI's app, you can shoot panoramas, get time lapses, use the zoom slider on the gimbal, and use desktop controls, but these are all things I never actually use when I'm out on a shoot. But what I do plan on using on the Mobile 3 is its active tracking feature. You can either pull the trigger on the gimbal and have the app automatically lock onto something, or you can manually highlight your subject. And the active track on the Osmo Mobile 3 does a far better job of finding, tracking, and reacquiring your subject than the active track on the Smooth 4. That's why I never used it. So if you plan on shooting a fast moving subject like an animal, an athlete, or a car, then the active track feature on the Osmo Mobile 3 is going to help you keep your subject in frame, while all you gotta focus on is just trying to keep up. So overall, I can't find anything to be mad about on the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. It's super easy to use, it does a great job of keeping your shots leveled, battery life so far has been great, its companion app is stellar, and if you need the active track feature, it's there, it's a very powerful tool. But what's really setting the Osmo Mobile 3 apart from its competition, and even from the Osmo Mobile 2, is its overall refinement to its usability aspects. Its new collapsible design just makes it super convenient to take on a shoot with you. It's very small and lightweight, and the grip pad and the wrist strap just give you a much better grip. Right now, if you're looking for a phone gimbal, the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, hands down, is the way to go. And personally, I'm just glad I can finally get rid of my Zhiyun Smooth 4, because this thing has been driving me nuts the last few months. It's been constantly overheating in the summer heat, I'm tired of its super bulky carrying case, and I can never use all of its features because its companion app takes some very bad looking video. So yeah, even though the Zhiyun Smooth 4 has more buttons and that zoom dial, I'm team DJI Osmo Mobile 3 all the way. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any other products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below. And you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.